uh, hello dear student and assalamu alaikum uh, today uh, we will uh, start our new topic in the path uh, pathophysiological physiology uh, today we will discuss about the disorder of uh, immune system or disorder of the uh, immunity okay so uh, as you know from the physiology that uh, uh, immunity it is the defense system of our body and this system uh, def uh, defend our body from the uh, microorganism of in the internal uh, environment also and from the uh, in external environment also uh, many uh, microorganisms that are uh, involved uh, in the uh, formation of disease in human body. Uh, this immune system uh, depend our body. Uh, there we have in immune system, we have central immune system also and uh, peripheral ne uh, uh, immune system also. Peripherally, uh, the immune system is uh, due to the uh, blood. Okay, in the blood we have uh, neutrophil, basophil, plasma cells, eosinophils, uh, phagocytes. Okay, so these are the peripheral immune system, and it depend our body from the uh, diseases. Centrally, we have lymphatic system also, and uh, uh, many. Uh, glands also for example the thymus gland okay so uh, these are the central uh, immune system uh, and which depend our body f uh, against the microorganism and other diseases so today in this lecture we will discuss about the disorder of the immune system uh, peripherally also and uh, a system uh, and uh, central also. So, immune disorder. Immune disorder in the 20th century, it was the extreme important uh, because of the many bacteriological diseases. Because you know that uh, in the last uh, years and in the 20th century, many of the infections, it was viral diseases, it was uh, bacterial diseases, uh, they are uh, uh, very common. Okay, so in the uh, in nowadays also and in the 20th century also the immune disorder are very important for the uh, scientists also and for the medical practitioner also. So new diseases, immunological etiology in all diseases, immunotherapy, considerable amount of medical information. Immune system important for survival as I uh, as I told you that it depend our body from different microorganisms and from different diseases. And uh, the immune uh, diseases, uh, uh, they depend on the increasement of the immunity and the decreasement of the immunity. If the immunity increase, there will also be problem. And if the immunity decrease, there will also be a problem. So, Introduction, uh, as I told you that uh, we have humoral immunity and uh, cellular immunity. Then we have B lymphocytes, plasma cell and immunoglobulin A, immunoglobulin M, immunoglobulin G, uh, immunoglobulin E, immunoglobulin D, okay, IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE and IgD. Okay. Then we have lymph nodes, okay. as I told you that uh, lymphatic system also helps in the defending, uh, defending the uh, uh, body from the uh, microorganisms and from the diseases. And there are cortical also and germinal also, cortex lymph node and germinal center lymph nodes. Then we have T lymphocytes. These T lymphocytes, they are 60 to 7 percent, 70 percent in the peripheral blood. Lymph node, they are paracortex. Uh, the subspecialization is the helper, suppressor, killer and natural killer. These T lymphocytes uh, sometimes help the uh, immune system, okay. The other uh, immune system help, the peripheral immune system uh, it help. And their suppressor also, they suppress the uh, infection and also they are killer. So, uh, we, then we have macrophages, as I told you that macrophages are also in the, uh, depending our body as uh, immunity system. Then we have antigen presenting cell, 
okay they are dendritic cells and langerhans cells which are present in the uh, skin uh, skin langerhans cell skin which uh, uh, cell which are present in the skin uh, they are very important because uh, uh, the first immunity the first depending uh, organ in our body this is skin okay if the skin if there is no wound or no lesion or if there is no destruction of the uh, skin no uh, no uh, not even a microorganism can enter to the human body because in the uh, langerhans cells which are present in the skin also in the membrane of the skin it prevent the microorganism to enter to the human body then we have immune mechanism of tissue damage okay then uh, first we have immune response both humoral response also and cellular response also okay then we have the uh, immunoglobulin okay which are both exogenous and endogenous then we have inappropriate hypersensitive reaction was it in, in immune system we have hypersensitivity also and hyposensitivity also and the allergy which uh, we have four types then we have anaphylactic type okay uh, quickly developing after the contact of the allergen with ab okay previous exposition okay and b cell ige immunoglobulin e then we have mediated uh, through the histamine leukotriene prostaglandins granules of the mast cell and basophil basophilic leukocyte okay so this anaphylactic type it depend on the uh, on the uh, on the action of the b lymphos b cells allergens and the uh, uh, immu uh, immune mediated uh, uh, enzymes which are histamines leukotriene prostaglandins okay and these three enzymes are present in the granules of the mast cell and the basophilic leukocytes okay due to this increase of the vascular permeability vasodilation bronchoscopic transduction and increase mucus production as you know that if there will be cellular vascular permeability okay the enzymes the hormone which depend our body uh, from the microorganism they can freely uh, move from uh, from the blood to the cells and from the cells to the blood vasodilation will occur so vasodilation will permit these enzymes and these uh, uh, hormones to travel freely in the body we have bronchoconstriction and increase in muco production in the uh, infections of the uh, respiratory system uh, you have read that uh, uh, in the uh bronchi uh, in the bronchial tree we have uh, uh, cili ciliated cells and we also have the mucus production and this mucus production and the broken contraction if the microorganism will enter to the uh, will uh, will uh, try to enter to the uh, respiratory system this mucus and this bronchial contraction will trap this uh, uh, microorganism and then through the through the sputum or through the coughing they will uh, exit from the human body then we have the local reaction local reaction is done by the skin or the mucosa skin it is the uh, it uh, uh, is present out outside outside the body to the external environment and mucosa they are present internally okay for example mucosa of the gastric uh, gast uh, of the stomach mucosa of the intestine mucosa of the bronchi mucosa of the esophagus so mucosa they are present internally so uh, bee sting food allergy uh, hay fever uh, polynosis asthma bronchiale and urticaria hives okay so these uh, this bee sting food allergy they are uh mm, depended by our skin and our mucosa then we have systemic reaction okay uh, systemic reaction uh, parenteral administration of the allergens okay uh, for example we have the antiserum 
we have the uh, drug ATB systemic uh, anaphylaxis, uh, which have the anaphylactic shock. Uh, then we have minutes itching, rush, reading of the skin. As you know that the when there is bee sting or if any allergy uh, to, uh, f mm, uh, to a person from uh, pollen grains or from any f plant or from any food, okay, there will be itching, rush, reading and uh, reading of the skin. Okay, so this is the allergic reaction and this itching this redness of the skin and the rushes, this is the dependence of the, our body, immunity of the body. Uh, many people uh, which have the uh, allergy from the, uh, in the spring season or the autumn season, okay, they have breathing problem, abdominal pain, vomiting and diarrhea. For example, breathing problem, if there is any allergy from the plants or from the pollen grains or from the dust particles. Abdominal pain, uh, vomiting and diarrhea if they have if the person have allergy from any food item if he have food uh, allergy from the food item okay then he will have abdominal pain vomiting diarrhea then we have during uh, several minutes death due to collapse of the circulation so we have to treat this allergy on time because due to the collapse okay due to anaphylactic shock there the death of the person can also occur. Then we have antibody dependent type. Antibody dependent type, this is the central uh, immunity we have, okay. And uh, anti antigens uh, which are uh, autologous uh, are homologous, okay, from own environment, from the own uh, FT uh, antigen, they are. Uh, also produced by the uh, human body by itself also and there are many other antigens which we derive from another human okay so uh, antigen they are autologous which uh, are produced by the uh, human being by itself and homologous also which are uh, which are uh, brought from the another human so, incompatible blood uh, transfusion, destruction of the R uh, RBC. Therefore, uh, this the incompatible blood transfusion, it means that uh, if a person has B positive blood, we will uh, transfuse, uh, tra uh, tra the transfusion of the B positive blood we will do. If A positive, then A positive blood. If A negative, A negative. Okay, because if we will uh, for example, if the person who have B positive blood, okay, so the antigen on the B positive, okay, they are B positive antigen. On the blood uh, group, they have B positive antigen. And if we will inject, for example, uh, a positive blood to the uh, patient, okay, to the person, there will produce antibody against that B positive, A positive and it will destroy the blood and the person will go to an in, in, anaphylactic shock and in the end uh, he will face the uh, death. Then we have RH incompatibility in the fetal erythroblastosis. RH incompatibility and the blood transport uh, tra transfusion uh, we discuss in the physiology in the first year that uh, before when in the pregnant uh, woman, uh, we will uh, check the RH factor also. RH factor versus monkey uh, factor. Okay, so RH factor we will check so that we can uh, we know that the mother have RH positive factor or RH negative factor. Okay, because uh, it is important for the second baby. Then we have immunocomplex diseases. Uh, immunocomplex diseases, in this disease is the formation of AGAB complexes. Immunocomplexes, it is known as immunocomplexes. Activation of the complement and accumulation of the polymorphonuclear leukocytes. Okay, then in, uh, acute inflammation of the tissue will occur. For example, in the serum sickness, there are repeated exposure to the animal serum okay as i told you that uh, many of the integer they are from the human uh, to the human they are transferred from the animals also for the better 
immunity. Okay, so immune complexes are deposited in tissue and inflammation will occur. Okay, so this is called as immune complex diseases where the acute inflammation of the tissue can occur. Then in the immune uh, complex uh, diseases, we have the uh, visal wall. Okay, uh, there will be a uh, acute necrotizing vasculitis. Okay, and thrombosis, ischemic necrosis can occur. Uh, vessels were replaced by the uh, smoggy pink material. Uh, local uh, arthros reaction will occur in animal model skin lesion. Localization area of the tissue necrosis resulting from the immune complex vesculo vesculitis. Okay, so if there will be immune complex disease the vessel wall there will be necro necrotization of the vessel wall will occur uh, thrombosis uh, will occur also the uh, localized tissue necrosis will occur because the immune immune system is depressed already so sometime uh, kidney disease which is known as glomerulonephritis can also occur due to the uh, immune complex uh, diseases and uh, systemic lo uh, lopus erythromatosis uh, okay sle diseases can also occur then uh, we have delayed delayed type of hypersensitivity which also known as tuberculin type and uh, this is cell mediated immunity uh, cellular immunity uh, for the T cells, T cells which are uh, produced by the thymus and histiocytes uh, also from the thymus cell. So these two um, cells they are known as central immunity and they are helper cells. Frequently gromulonatus reaction uh, and the uh, this type of the uh, immunity it better help in the uh, syphilis in the leprosis in the leprosy this type of the sex uh, transmitted diseases and uh, the bacterial diseases okay uh, then we have uh, uh, for example this type of the, when the tuberculin reaction okay montox test as you know the tuberculin reaction that when in the um, childhood uh, vaccination for the tuberculosis occurred okay there occurred the montox test and the tuberculin reaction we uh, call it a tuberculin reaction then we have personal person previously exposed to the tbc tuberculin uh, 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 tuberculin uh, tbc it is known as tuberculin uh, vaccination okay develop after intradermal injection of ag skin in duration because we do tuberculin injection in intradermally then we have uh, transplantation uh, rejection okay transplantation they may be autologous also by the human own homologous from the human tissue okay and heterologous if we will uh, take this reaction from the animal tissue from the fr from the, uh, for example uh, from the pig skin or the ovine pericardium okay so this is the transplantation rejection autologous homologous and heterologous both humoral and ce uh, cellular immunity this this transplantation rejection they both help in the humoral and the cellular or we can say in the central immunity also so uh, re uh, rejection uh, re uh, reaction uh, for example we have renal graft so we have hyper acute okay uh, it is these are the widespread uh, uh, arteriolitis arthritis thrombosis ischemic necrosis okay due to this hyper acute we have this type of disease can occur in the human body okay arthritis thrombosis and in the uh, last we have ischemic necrosis which uh, is very dangerous for the human body acutely uh, there will be uh, lymphocytic infiltration vasculitis will occur tubulitis will occur edema uh, this edema will be acute edema 
okay that uh, this acute this acute this edema will appear then disappear appear and this disappear okay and it may be uh, continue from days up to month chronic uh, rejection reaction uh, they are there will be vascular changes sclerosis and entimal fibrosis and this uh, uh, type of the this vascular changes uh, sclerosis and entimal fibrosis it continues from months up to year okay and um, it uh, continue with life okay as the person uh, will uh, live his life this disease will uh, continue in his life then we have uh, uh, graft versus host diseases okay gv HD. This type of the disease, it is due to the transplantation of allogenic hemopoietic, hemopoietic cells. Echo hemopoietic cells which produce the uh, red blood cells. Immunologically competent donor cells transplanted into the immunological comp compromised recipient. recipient. Donor T cell reaction against foreign recipient tissue and they, it will occur in the liver, skin, and guts. This graft versus host tissue uh, disease, it is when the allogenic homeopathic cells are transferred from the uh, from a healthy person to a person where the uh, immunity of the person is already suppressed. And we help uh, this uh, uh, patient with the healthy uh, hemopoietic cells and this uh, also known as hemogenous uh, process. Autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases, these are the diseases in which uh, the human body immune system, it uh, uh, work against the human body. Okay its own human body. So, immune system reaction against own immunoglobulin as I told you okay and uh, their own antigens okay immune system it will uh, react against its own antigens organic uh, specific for, the, for example in Hashimoto thyroiditis in the Graves based of disease chronic atropic gastritis okay in the uh, pernicious anemia okay in this type of the diseases the immune system will uh, work against its own antigen okay and it will destroy its own uh, blood cell also tissues also other cells also then we have systemic autoimmune disease okay for example affection of vessels are connective tissues okay so, systemic disorder of the connective tissue collagenosis and the in the rheumati uh, rheumatic fever then we have systemic lupus erythromatosis okay this is a very common disease okay and in this disease febrile uh, inflammatory multi systemic disease occur okay and uh, variable symptom symptomology okay in this disease we have uh, febrile inflammatory multi system diseases okay in the female this is uh, uh, less okay and in the uh, in the female they are high uh, ratio uh, as compared to the male for example 10 ratio 1 in the female if for example uh, in the decades in the 2 3 decades in 20 30 uh, years uh, if 10 uh, if 10 female will born with the systemic lupus erythematosus only one male will born with this diseases most often affected skin, kidneys, serosal membranes, joints, and heart. Okay, this type of the disease it will affect these type the skin, kidneys, serosal membranes, with internal organs, joints, and heart. Several types of the AB, uh, namely anti nuclear uh, antibodies. Okay, so they have the uh, anti nuclear antibodies. Formation of the immunocomplexes, as we discussed in the last uh, slides. Histological, there will be predominantly necrotizing vasculitis. Okay, there will be the uh, infections or the inflammation of the vessels. 
okay and with also the uh, inflammation of the internal organ due to this systemic lobus erythromatosus sle disease symptomology what's what symptom of the sle we will have for example in the skin there will be facial 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 exenthema butterfly uh, this um, uh, female or male they will have uh, on the nose and on the uh, both cheeks they will have uh, uh, like a butterfly like uh, uh, skin rashes okay cheeks plus the reddix of the nose as i told you uh, flura plus pericardium serous and fibrous exudation fibrosis will occur in the heart there will be pericarditis endocarditis and uh, non bacterial thrombotic endocarditis both sides of the valve okay in the kidney there will be various form of the glomerulonephritis in the joints there will be swelling and inflammation in the spleen there will be thickening of the capsule which are uh, this capsule which is present around the spleen and concentric perivascular fibrosis okay this is the symptom of the systemic lupus erythromatosis or we can see sle disease typical clinical uh, presentation uh, if a patient come to uh, the medical practitioner uh, which this was the uh, signs and the symptom which will be young female butterfly shaped exanthema of the face but you have to know that the butterfly shaped exanthema uh, if there are two types okay one occur due to uh, sle disease okay and one also occur due to the pregnancy after the pregnancy the women also develop uh, you have know that um, uh, they have a butterfly like shape butterfly shape like this uh, rashes they have okay and this is due to the uh, sle disease also and due to pregnancy also therefore uh, you will differentiate from it the in the female after pregnancy they will have uh, color like purple color okay but in the sle disease they will have red rashes they they will the shape will be red so you have to differentiate this uh, butterfly shape exanthema uh, that it's it is due to pregnancy or it is due to the sle disease then we have febrile joint pain uh, pleuritic pain and photopobia okay photopobia mean that uh, the person will uh, cannot uh, see the or cannot look to the light it will afraid from the uh, light okay pleuritic pain they will have pain in these sides okay uh, joint pain the large joint pain for example in the humeral joint in the knee joint in the ankle joint okay they will have pain okay then we have cave frequently a typical symptomology the clinical course it will be continuous okay progressive the uh, the death only occur because this is uh, uh, this disease is very uh, difficult to treat okay recovery and remission years and decades because because as i told you that the uh, treatment is very difficult and we will treat 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 it's not uh, we cannot uh, treat it, with, uh, it into months within months okay years and decade will uh, required for the treatment of the sle diseases okay treatment we have only steroids and immunosuppression immunosuppressant uh, medication then the other immune disease uh, uh, immunity disease disorder it is the rheumatoid arthritis ra this is the uh, symmetric chronic inflammation of the giant okay symmetric mean that on the both side of the body this type of the uh, inflammation of the giants will occur non purulent productive sinusitis synovitis okay synovitis uh, synovial uh, as you know the synovial fluid it is present it is a kind, a kind of fluid which is present uh, between the large joint okay and the uh, inflammation of the synovial fluid will occur 
in this state. Destruction of the cartilage because if there is this synovial fluid, it work like an oil between the uh, between the in the engine, for example, in the um, uh, car engine. Okay, if the oil is present, this the friction between the two iron it will be low. So this synovial fluid it. Uh, decrease the friction between the two bones on and if the uh, this synovial fluid inflammation will occur the cartilage they will not have this fluid and the destruction of the cartilage will occur the progressive impairment of the function rather frequent male female 0.5 4% male 0.1 so in the female they are high as compared into male usually young adults they are uh, they have this disease. Pathogenesis, they have both humoral and, similar, uh, and cellular immunity. Increase in the immunoglobulin, uh, in the increase of immunoglobulin in the serum. Rheumatoid factor, okay. Clinically, we have symmetric inflammation of the small joint hands and the feet. Later, also ankle, wrist, elbow and shoulder joint. As I told you that this is the uh, disease of the uh, of the joints. Okay, so first they will affect the small joint. For example, the uh, joints of the finger. Okay, they are they are small joint. Okay, then will they will uh, continue the uh, they will affect the large joint. For the ankle joint, we have the elbow joint, we have shoulder joint, we have okay jaws. Okay, so then every uh, joint it they will affect. Uh, only rarely the hip joint okay hip joint they are rarely affected but if they are affected the person will sit on the place no movement uh, will occur in the body deformation and loss of the function of the joint because the destruction due to the destruction of the cartilage and the uh, absence of the synovial uh, fluid the deformation and loss of the function of the joint will occur sometime formation of the subcutaneous nodules okay this is called as rheumatoid nodules special form of the rheumatoid arthritis first we have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis also known as the stills disease age uh, from 1 to 3 year occur uh, here we will have the the symptoms are the uh, rheumatoid arthritis, we will have plus uh, fever, hepatosplenomegaly. Hepatosplenomegaly means that the uh, enlargement of the spleen and liver and lymphadenopathy, the uh, disease of the lymphoid node, inflammation of the lymphatic nodes. Felt disease, they will have the rheumatoid arthritis, splenomegaly plus leukopenia. Systemic, sclero, uh, systemic sclerosis, okay, this is also an Im, uh, immune disease, okay. Systemic sclerosis, this is the interstitial tissue of the various organ inflammation and fibrosis. In this disease, the inflammation are and fibrosis of the interstitial tissues uh, of various organ will occur, okay. And in 95% of 95% uh, skin is affected by the systemic sclerosis and also known as scleroderma. Derma means skin, sclero means sclerosis. So, uh, sclerotic disease, uh, systemic sclerosis disease of the skin. Sometimes visceral lesion also occur, for example, uh, gastrointestinal tract, lung, kidneys, heart and muscle also but they are very important because if this uh, the internal organ will be affected by the systemic sclerosis they are then uh, very difficult to treat in the female they are also high uh, 3 ratio 1 f female 3 uh, in men only 1 any age it can affect in childhood also in the old age also minimum min uh, mainly 3 uh, from 30 to 50 uh, years okay rare okay uh, histologically uh, sclerosis of the collagen loss of the filamentous structure homogenization and helization no nuclei so this they, they uh, in short they destroy the cell nuclei the cell cytoplasm and uh, the inflammation occur 
uh, in the sclerosis, systemic sclerosis, they affect the skin of the fingers. Okay, uh, first the uh, first uh, edema, then the uh, sclerosis of the collagen, then the atrophy of the epidermis, and then loss of the skin. Uh, at Nixa will occur. So this type of the disease, if they are not treated well, it will start from the finger. Okay, they will first they will destroy the uh, there there will be edema. Okay, then after edema there will sclerosis, their rashes will start on the uh, skin. Okay, then atrophy of the epidermis. Epidermis this uh, about uh, this skin which are present, uh, which we can see by naked eyes. This is the epidermis. So the inflammation of the epidermis will in atrophy it will start to uh, destroy okay and then in the last the loss of the skin will occur okay so this is very uh, dangerous disease if it is uh, not treated on time the skin will be dry uh, with smooth uh, surface okay uh, shiny will be and thin ulceration will occur loss of the elasticity and rigidity spontaneous amputation mask face okay so if it will occur for example the uh, only uh, if we will want to treat that uh, it uh, don't uh, spread all over the body for example if it start from the finger we have to amputate we have to do amputation of the uh, finger okay so that it cannot uh, uh, so that uh, it should not spread in all the body and we should uh, use the mask face. So the uh, systemic sclerosis of the systems, for example, in the gastrointestinal tract. In the gastrointestinal tract, namely uh, in the esophagus will occur, okay, atrophy and fibrosis of the wall will occur and problem will be in the swelling. Locomotory operators loss of the mobility and the rigidity in lungs interstitial fibrosis will occur and if interstitial fibrosis will occur there will be uh, problem in the breathing in the heart there will occur interstitial fibrosis of the mitochondrium and if it, it will occur there will be uh, dysfunctioning of the uh, muscles of the heart muscles and uh, it will uh, at the diastole and systole of the heart will be uh, disturbed. In the vessels, there will be Reynolds phenomena, poly or arteritis will occur. Then the other disease is, is the polymyositis, the, uh, also known as uh, dermatomyositis. Okay, this is the uh, disease of the uh, muscles also and the skin also. Systemical uh, uh, muscle weakness pain, swelling and atrophy in this disease will occur and the peak of this incidence is from 5 to 15 years and then 50 to 60 years. Frequently combination with other systemic disease uh, for example overlap syndromes and vasculitis. Max connective tissue disease will occur. So this is the disease of the muscles and the skin. Histological, there will be inflammation of the lymphocytes, plasma cell and histiocytes. Uh, due to this uh, disease, there will uh, occur the atrophy of the muscles and the skin. Necrosis will occur, disappearance of muscle fiber, replacement of the fiber tissues and fat. Okay. Usually starts in the, from the proximally from the shoulder and the pelvis, okay, from the distal progression in 10 to 20 percent combination with the malignant tumor for, uh, for example in the lung in the GIT and in the uh, breast and ovary also so this polymyositis uh, if uh, not treated also the uh, there in 10 to 20 percent uh, uh, patient it will extend toward the malignant tumor and as you know that malignant tumor it is very difficult to treat and uh, the uh, and the final uh, recovery uh, there will be no recovery and finally the death of the patient can occur then we have uh, Sjogren disease okay this is also Sjogren disease it is also uh, immunity disease okay uh, in this uh, 
uh, this type of the disease in mainly uh, mainly the disease of the eyes okay and in this disease there will be dry eyes as also known as keratoconjunctivitis cica okay so uh, there will be corneal lesion okay dry eyes and you know that uh, if there will dry eyes the eyes cannot see uh, because for the uh, eyes for the movement of the eyes okay need the uh, wet environment so there will be dryness of the eyes dry mouth okay uh, zero stomia well uh, dry eyes uh, uh, keratoconjunctivitis okay dry mouth uh, uh, zero stomia will occur okay and uh, in this disease the caused by the loss of salivary and lacrimal gland okay and you know that lacrimal gland it pro it produce uh, lacrimal fluid which are present in our eyes okay and salivary gland as you know that it produce saliva so if there the loss of the salivary gland and the lacrimal gland occur there will be no uh, there will be no uh, saliva or no lacrimal fluid okay and if there will be not the uh, dryness of the mouth and eyes will occur immunologically induced by the inflammation and due to which the inflammation will occur okay on the salivary gland benign lymphoepithelial lesion okay in the salivary gland the benign tumor will occur okay uh, in the salivary salivary gland plus lacrimal gland it is also known as sika syndrome if both will be lo both lost both uh, lost its function it knows as sika syndrome combination with the other autoimmune disease uh, for example the rheumatoid arthritis uh, 60 percent this is also known as Sjogren's uh, and it was uh, uh, discovered by the uh, uh, by a scientist uh, known as Sjogren in 1933 environment of the gland of other system for example nose pharynx and vagina also so this disease it is uh, the disease of the lacrimal gland and the salivary gland okay the uh, it will lose uh, lost the function and uh, it will uh, the discharge of the saliva and lacry uh, lacry uh, lacrimal fluid from the cerebral gland and lacrimal gland will be absent so dryness of the eyes and the mouth will occur histological histologically uh, there will be lymph uh, lymphoid infiltration atrophy will occur and the loss of the pharynx chima will occur mostly in female they are uh, they start uh, when the female is above 40 years okay and uh, uh, the diagnose it will be it will be uh, uh, based on the histology excision of the minor salivary gland okay their excision we will uh, take uh, specimens from the salivary gland and then we will uh, test it in the laboratory and then we will do the diagnose that the patient is uh, patient have this disease or not Sjogren disease then the other immuno disorder disease it is the Mikolis syndrome okay this is the uh, bilateral swelling of the lacrimal gland uh, per, uh, perot perotis and submandibular gland the swelling of the lacrimal gland uh, per perotis gland and the submandibular gland okay uh, in various eti the ver etiology is leukemia lymphoma uh, syphilis or uh, uh, tbc disease okay the cases with unknown etiology okay this uh, may be the etiology is lacrima, lymphoma and syphilis but the etiology is uh, unknown then we have polyarteritis or uh, polyarteritis nodosa or we can also say that the periarteritis nodosa okay uh, this is the uh, disease of the uh, with this are the vascular disease okay and it uh, mostly occur in the arteries okay in the small arteries and in the middle size arteries okay and if it is not uh, 
uh, treated on the time, okay, uh, they, uh, they can also affect the large artery also. So, necrotization, inflammation of the wall of middle sides and small arteries occur. As I told you, necrotization vesculo vesculitis, okay, necrosis of the uh, middle sized uh, uh, arteries and the small uh, arteries will occur. Deposition of the uh, immunocomplexes similar to the arthros phenomena. Okay, uh, open uh, segmentally, uh, they will uh, cause the thrombosis infections. Okay, because you know that if there will be the uh, necrotization, uh, necrosis of the vessel occur, uh, they will produce the thrombosis. And you know that thrombosis, it is the main uh, etiology, main cause of the infection also, uh, gangrene also, hemolytic shock also, brain hemorrhage also. So, variable critical presentation most frequently in kidney, heart, liver uh, and in the GIT. Perforation, perforation means that if there will be the uh, perforation that if there will be uh, splitting of the uh, intestine occur or the um, stomach occur, okay, and in the lung it is rare. Histological Histologically, uh, we will diagnose this disease uh, uh, that there will be fibrino fibrinoid necrosis, okay, eosinophilic. Infiltration of the neutrophilic uh, leukocytes, uh, microaneurysm, uh, rupture of uh, rupture or thrombosis infection will occur. Healing by scars. There will be scar formation. Okay, scar. You know that if uh, after the surgery, when there is the loss of the uh, skin, okay, there is scar occur of the uh, connective tissues. In the male, they are uh, the ratio is high, uh, two ratio one. Prominence of uh, of female. Diagnose by the uh, diagnose is based on the histological uh, study and di di uh, diagnosis of the excision. Then we have uh, Wigner's uh, granulomatosis. Okay, this type of the disease it is very uh, rare disease. Okay, and uh, uh, in this disease uh, uh, there occur the acute necrotizing arteritis. Okay, uh, the inflammation of the arteries as similar to the polyarteritis nodulus. Inflammation of the kidneys occur, respiratory tract infection occur, okay, mostly in the lungs and the inflammation of the infection of the sp uh, spleen occur. Acute uh, granulomatous inflation, uh, inflammation, they are uh, necrotizing, necrotizing uh, infection, okay, namely they are, res they are in the respiratory tract. For example, in the nose, in the perinasal sinuses, in the larynx, trachea, bronchi, and in the lungs. But as I told you that this type of vaginal glomerulitis, they are rare diseases. Okay, so necrotizing uh, progress you they have in the past fatal today is cytotactic diseases. Then. Uh, immunodeficiency disease, they are, uh, there are primary immunodeficiency states and secondary immunodeficiency states. Primary in, uh, immunodeficiency states, uh, uh, they are X-linked diseases, okay. X-linked uh, diseases uh, uh, th which transfer from the uh, parents to the offspring, to the child, okay. Uh, what will be the symptoms? The inability of the pre-beta cells to differentiate into mature B cells. Okay, it means that the when the uh, thymus will start the B cells and T cells. Okay, B cell it will uh, not uh, it will not go to the maturity. And as you know that if there will be no maturity, it will not depend the body. So there will be a maturity of the B cell which are produced by thymus, decrease in the circulation, circulating of the B cells, no germinal cent, uh, centers, okay. Uh, so if the beta cells are not mature, they will not go uh, to the uh, peripheral, uh, for, to the blood and if they will go, they have no functioning because they are not mature enough to depend the body from the microorganism. 
Then we have isolated deficiency of the AGA. Okay, most frequently uh, it is uh, one ratio 700 in the 700 patient, only one patient uh, born with this type of the disease, isolated deficiency of the IgA. Uh, recurrent uh, sinopulmonary infections and diarrhea will occur. Then we have thymic hypoplasia. Thymic hypoplasia means that the, uh, it also known as the cancer of the thymus. Okay, so congenital uh, malformation of third and fourth uh, brachial pouches. Okay, uh, vulnerability to the viral, fungal, and protozoal infection. As you know that if the thymus, as I as I told you in the start of the lecture, the thymus it is the center of the immune system. It produces T cells, B cells, okay. And if there is hypoplasia of the thymus, okay, it will not produce the T cell and B, B cell. And if it will produce, there will be immaturation of these cells, okay. And they will not uh, do its function properly. So, viral infection, bacterial infection, fungal infection, they will be more probably in the uh, more common in the human body. Severe combined immunodeficiency, they are also excellent, uh, excellent are autosomal received, uh, res recessive disease. Secondary immunodeficiency, this is the more common deficiency, okay. And this type of deficiency occur, occur due to the malnutrition, due to infections, due to cancer, due to renal disease and due to malignancy. Okay, because they are secondary, they are not uh, heredity, unheredited disease from the parents, from the family to the child. They are acquired by the uh, person by its own due to malnutrition, infection, cancer, renal disease and malignancy. Patient treated by the immunosuppressive disease, for example, in the AIDS. AIDS is an example of the secondary immunodeficiency state. Then. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS. This is now the big problem uh, for the uh, humanity. And uh, uh, nowadays, the ratio of the AIDS, uh, it is increasing day by day, okay. Uh, in uh, African countries, they, it started from the African countries and uh, now it is present all over the world. Even not one country in the world uh, they do not have the AIDS. Many, uh, like in Kyrgyzstan, we also have uh, the patients of AIDS in Russia, in Kazakhstan, in Pakistan, in Arab countries, in European countries, Asian countries. We all have the, the uh, ratio of the AIDS, they are increasing. So, viral etiology, it is the HIV and RNA retrovirus, okay. Severe immunosuppression opportunistic infection, secondary tumor and neurological symptoms will occur because this uh, is you can see that acquired immunodeficiency, it suppress the immune system, okay. And first recognized in 1981 in Los Angeles, pneumonetic pneumonia in the five young homosexual uh, people, okay, homosexual for example, the lesbians and the gays, they are homosexual, okay, for two of them died, okay. Then, uh, pneumocytis will occur, interstitial pneumonia in the premature infant, okay, onset of the uh, epidemic. In 1998, 33.4 million of people infected, okay, and 22.5 uh, uh, was in the sub-Saharan Africa, as I told you. Number of both infected and ill patients increased in USA, Africa, all in these countries. As I told you that now this disease is mostly, this is increasing in any country, in African countries, in European countries, in Australia, in any countries. There can, and uh, we have to, uh, we have to look after this uh, risk because in uh, Kyrgyzstan, the uh, air patient is also increasing day by day. Transmission uh, due to sexual contact, okay. Nowadays, uh, uh, this disease, uh, 
uh, is uh, um, spreading mostly due to sexual contact uh, from the uh, prenatal. Uh, these two are these two are the most common sexual contacts. Uh, blood derived drug abuser sharing needles. Okay, they are called as peri uh, perinatal. Uh, from the mother to the infant, uh, for example, the uh, mother with AIDS, it uh, give birth to uh, the infant to the child. They will also the child will also have the AIDS. HIV cannot be transmitted by casual personal contact. If you will shake the hand, if you will uh, hug the person with AIDS, cannot be transmitted like this or from the uh, by breathing by respiration through air also it is also not transmittable okay the only sexual contact perinatal and from mother to the infant no transmission uh, from patient to doctor and vice versa by casual contact prevention of injury needle stick etc operation or autopsy special precautions epidemiology we have sex risk Six, uh, sex risk uh, groups we have. First, as I told you, that homosexual males, homosexual males, uh, which are now the big problem for the humanity. Okay, homosexuality, due to this homosexuality, this disease is spreading in the uh, in the in the world. Intravenous drug abusers, hemophiliasis, and other blood recipient, heterosexual partner of other high risk group members children of parent from group 1 to 3 then we have uh, hiv 1 and hiv 2 closely closely they are related long incubation period they have uh, tropism for the lymphocytes and nervous system immunosuppression uh, slowly progressive fatal outcome opportunistic infection in the aids there are uh, as you know that AIDS uh, uh, through AIDS any people can uh, the people cannot die okay the death occur by the even with the small infection for example from the protozoal infection fungal infection bacterial or viral infection protozoal for example pneumocytosis lungs toxoplasmosis of the lungs fungal disease for example candidiasis uh, of the GIT respiratory tract infections we have okay bacterial for example the mycobacteriasis frequently atypical necrodiosis lungs and central nervous system viral we have the uh, viral disease of the lungs or respiratory system kidney disease GIT disease central nervous system so these type of the infection are then more frequent more common in the AIDS disease neoplasm in the AIDS Kaposi's sarcoma. Sarcoma of the endo, uh, endopathicum hemorrhagicum multiplex. Okay, this is related to the HSV infection, HIV infection. Uh, non Hodgkin disease, uh, primary uh, male uh, dysfunction of the central nervous system. Okay. Typical patient in the USA, young male homosexual or drug abuser we have, as I told you that the homosexuality and drug abuser are most common, so transfer from the one patient to the another patient. Okay. The uh, symptoms will be, there will be fever, head, uh, weight loss, diarrhea, generalized uh, lymphadenopathy, multiple opportunistic infections, neurological disorder and the secondary neoplasm. Classically, there will be after infection four to seven week there will be zero negative period serial conversion long uh, latency two to five air lymphadenopathy they are airs related okay and uh, there is no vaccine no drugs uh, of the airs are discovered the uh, only prevention and the mortality is 100 percent confirmed amyloidosis Amyloidosis, amylum mean starch and amyloid mean starch like. These of the abnormal proteinous substance deposited between cell and many tissues and organs, intra intercellular pink translucent material and variety of clinical disorder occur. One uh, first we have not a single chemically entity. 
two major and several minor biochemical forms they have. Several pathogens different mechanism, unique tertiary structure and which are responsible for the staining uh, properties uh, and for the resistance of the enzyme. Chemical nature of the amyloid. Two types we have immunoglobulin and non-immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin light chain and immunoglobulin protein. Immunoglobulin light chain they are amyloid light chain B cell disorder and non-immunoglobulin uh, uh, protein they are amyloid associated and this and due to this there will be chronic inflammations will occur. Classification amyloids these, there are systemic and localized. Systemic it will occur in the kidney, liver, spleen, adrenal, adrenals glands, lymph nodes okay and localized it is in the various organ it can be present. Systemic amyloidosis uh, this is the uh, primary immunocytes uh, uh, dyscreasis okay uh, deposition of the amyloid uh, product by the aberrant clones of the beta cells most frequent form. Uh, there will be multiple myeloma, uh, monoclonal uh, proliferation will occur of the plasma cell okay uh, multiple uh, osteolytic lesion of the bone will occur in addition to the uh, monoclonal uh, immunoglobulin production of the isolated kappa r lambda light chain will occur only 6 to 15 percent of the patient with uh, uh, with the uh, mm developed uh, amyloidosis other cases of the primary they are light chain disease and other beta cell related disorders. Secondary amyloidosis this is reactive amyloid uh, protected breakdown of the cell usually in the chronic inflammation disorder in the osteomyelitis uh, in the bronchitis uh, and in the rheumatoid arthritis connective tissue disorder as I told you that the, in the this type of the disease they will have the inf mostly the inflammation disease will occur in the vessels or in the bones or in the tissues. Localized amyloidosis this is called as these are the heterogeneous groups okay and um, there will be uh, nodal deposits on the lungs, larynx, skin, urine liberator, tongue uh, in this type of the organ there will be nodal deposition special form there are endocrine tumors and the senile amyloid which are present in the brain and the heart. Then staining of the amyloid it means that they diagnose. So first we have the staining uh, to due to Logel's solution and the reaction of H2SO4 due to, the, due to these two uh, tests uh, we can diagnose this uh, uh, amyloid disease. Microscopically there will be uh, metachromasias, uh, okay, Congo red green uh, briefing will be monoclonal antibodies against different types of the amyloids, more precise classification. Environment, uh, kidneys will be involved, spleen will be involved, liver and heart. Kidneys uh, most common and most serious form. Uh, glomerul, glomerul nephritis will occur, the vessels will be uh, affected and nephrotic syndrome will occur. In the spleen there are two types follicular and the diffuse form of the uh, spleen will occur. In the liver weight up to 9 kg there will be uh, hepatomegaly. Okay? In the heart there will be uh, AS amyloid in the left atrium and the AA uh, in the systemic involvement of the this. Clinical symptomology, the incident finding at the autopsy, okay. several clinical symptoms, renal malfunction, hepatosplenomegaly, uh, heart involvement and the diagnosis it is uh, needle bi biopsy of the lesion in systemic biopsy of the rectal or oral mucosa. So uh, this was the lecture immunodeficiency syndrome. Uh, in this uh, uh, lecture we discussed today about the uh, 
function of the uh, immunity system, then uh, the d dysfunction of the immune system and the diseases which are involved due to the dysfunction of this type of the immune disorder. Hereditarily also which are transferred from the parents to the horse and uh, the diseases which a person acquire from the uh, environment due to any disease or due to any infection. So, thank you for your attendance. Thank you for your presence. Uh, next time we will meet with new lecture. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye.